Hello guys, welcome to RPF feed and in today's video we will be looking at error handling in automation 360. So let's get started. So uh, in error handling a mechanism we use error handler package and in error handler package we have try catch finally and throw actions. So we'll be looking at the in detail with the help of an example. Uh, how to use these actions and how to do a error handling in your bot first of all let's uh, let me introduce you like why do we need uh, error handling in the first place so we need error handling so that the bot is not terminated abruptly in case of any runtime errors or exception so for example if you have uh, developed one bot and while uh, running the bot or while the bot is in uh, execution you face some issue or some kind of uh, runtime exception so instead of uh, handling that exception and proceeding further with the bot execution your bot abruptly uh, halts so we don't want such a situation right we want uh, at least whatever is possible and what is whatever with is within the scope we should handle that error and proceed with the uh, further execution so for that like for smooth uh, bot uh, execution we need a uh, error handling mechanism so that's why we do error error handling and in order to do error handling we have an error handler package in automation 360 uh, a360 so it contains uh, actions that enable you to easily handle exceptions uh, uh, we have seen those uh, or we will be seeing those like try catch finally block so those are the actions with which we can do error handling so this is just an illustration uh, like for example you have written a code to click a button but that button is like does not exist so without the error handling in your bot bot will stop its execution and display the error but if you have uh, included error handling mechanism so the try action handles the error and sends the execution to the catch block or catch action so catch executes the specified action whatever you have uh, done for handling that error in in the catch uh, block so that will be executed next we have a uh, hand uh, how the exception will be handled so once uh, the bot clicks on uh, a button and the button does not exist so the try action handles the error and send the execution to the catch statement catch statement will perform whatever actions you have specified and then the control will be transferred to finally block uh, so finally is an optional block if you don't want to um, include it it's totally fine but if you have a finally block uh, then it will be executed and the, then the control uh, of the bot will be transferred to try action like transfer to uh, the try uh, block uh, the next uh, next uh, statement okay bot continues execution after the try action so uh, finally is a place to do a uh, like a closing or uh, uh, like if you have excel operations or excel close uh, or database close commands you can put them in finally uh, block or you can use uh, utilize this uh, to write locks okay so we'll see uh, all these with the help of an example let's dive into our uh, bot designer and let me show you i have uh, i have already uh, coded this bot this small snippet so here we are demonstrating the use of try catch and finally along with throw action okay so uh, in this in this bot uh, what I have done is I have uh, taken one number marks and I have assigned one uh, figure one value uh, like 72 and I'm calculating a percentage so in order to calculate percentage like 72 marks are out of 100 let's say uh, or uh, let's say those marks are out of 80 so we are just calculating the percentage 
and here we will be able to get the percentage and this throw all errors uh, is an action uh, command like uh, it's an action just to um, if you want to pass on the custom error if you if if you are if you know like here you will be getting there are chances that you will be getting some error so you can just throw that error basically so a custom like it indicates a generic bot exception when bot is run okay so here uh, right now i have included custom error message text so this text will be uh, just shown uh, also just be displayed so let me comment this or dis uh, disable this and this is the catch block where i have so catch block you can configure the uh, the catch block uh, in this way error handler all the errors and then here you need to choose uh, create two variables like one for error message and one for error line number so these uh, error message and error line number you can use inside this block to uh, capture it uh, in a log uh, here i have not writing it to a log file i am just uh, putting i have just put it a message box uh, just to uh, demonstrate okay and this is the finally block where uh, i have just added one comment because here i don't have any any object which i can close like i don't have any sap connection i don't have any database connection or excel connection which i can uh, use here so or maybe i don't want to do a logging so you can you can do as per your requirement you can use this finally finally is always like if you have include if you are including finally block it will always be executed irrespective you have error or not so once the control is in try try block and if you encounter an error over this line number the control will be transferred to catch block and then finally will be executed if you ha don't have any error on this line number and everything is uh, going smooth then your catch block will not be executed but your finally will be executed okay so that's all uh, uh, as for the explanation is con concerned but now see uh, now this is fine uh, let me show you and let me run this program and it will just give uh, it should give us a percentage like we have obtained 72 marks out of 80 and we are just calculating a percentage so in this case uh, there there should be no error and uh, it, this is a happy scenario this is a good scenario okay so bot is just deploying or uh, getting deployed and yeah we got the percentage as 90 okay and we are done with the uh, bot execution now suppose uh, there there was a typo or uh, something uh, happened and we uh, instead of that 80 we are taking that value dynamically and that variable got reset to zero or something like that something happened so I have manually uh, right now I am manually inducing this error divide by zero error because uh, if you if you divide any number with zero uh, you will get an exception right and our whole purpose of this is to get an exception so I have manually in induced this exception now we are trying to calculate percentage again let me run this and here we should uh, be getting error so at line number three we will be getting an exception so the control will be transferred to catch block and we'll be seeing this message which will show us the error message and error line number okay uh, bot is deploying and yeah we got this uh, error message as division by zero and line number three so it indicated the line as well and we will use this and bot will uh, stop so here you can see like we have this is just a small bot for demo purpose so if we had uh, further more steps and other other try catch like other uh, outside this like try catch uh, try catch block we had some other logic piece of logic the control would have would be transferred to that uh, logic that piece and so this is 
this will uh, error handler package will help you to uh, uh, to like to help you to uh, stop your bot from getting terminated abruptly so it will it will ensure the smooth flow and it will help you to log your uh, errors in the bot okay so uh, yeah that's how um, error handler package uh, can be used and we are done with the example and i hope you like this video and in case you like this video please subscribe to our channel and thank you